Hello, 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 and welcome to another video. This one is also about Microsoft OneDrive. And this is another new feature that's rolling out. And now you can tag your files. That means you can store your files wherever you want and organize them by tags. And I have Daniel Anderson, who is a Microsoft MVP to thank for this video because he released his video about how to do it. And I watched that the other day and I thought, I've got to share this with my community. So without any further ado, I'm going to turn, I'm going to pause for a second and get my screen ready. Hi, I'm back. Now you can see that here I am in my OneDrive online. So we're talking about an online facility. I'm quite excited because I think something big is coming out later on this month or next month to do with the way that files will be organized. But let's head on with this for now. So you'll notice I'm in the Microsoft 365 My Content area. So if I click on the nine dots, go to Microsoft 365 up at the top here, I come to my Microsoft homepage. So here I have all of my content and you'll see that I can sort it or, or categorize it or see it in different ways. So I've got all my content, I've got recently opened, things that have been shared, things that I've favorited, and then I can actually browse things by people or even meetings. And I can tag any and all of these. Now at the moment, the tagging functionality is only in this view, but it may come to the other areas of OneDrive Online going forward. I really don't know about that at the moment. So let's say that we've got this file here that um, Veronica has shared with me called Coffee Sales at Coffee Island. If I click the three dots, if it behaves, I can go over to this new feature tag and create a tag. So I'm going to create a tag for Coffee Island, which is, if you're following me for a while, you'll know it's my favorite coffee shop. It doesn't exist only in my imagination. So as it's coffee, we'll go for this kind of dark gold color and we'll go ahead and create that tag. We'll create that new tag. So while it's doing that, you'll see that, um, whoops, let me go back to all. Here we've got my coffee sales at Coffee Island and it's now got a little gold tag. And down here on the left, we also have a gold tag because we have a group of things called tags. So we could also tag this Word document, which lives in a team site. This is a team site called Training Teams and it's in the, in a, in the channel. And we're gonna tag that and we're going to apply that coffee tag to it as well. Now I'm going to create a second kind of tag. This one is for this file, which is in Lou's OneDrive. So Lou has sent me some blogging ideas for the rest of this year. So I'm going to create a new tag and I'm going to call it blogging. And let's make that nice and purple. And we're going to create that tag called blogging. So I now have two tags over here on my left. Now, if I come down here, we can see I've got all sorts of other stuff. Um, and I've got a meeting about blogging this month. So let's go and tag that one with the tag blogging. So now if I come to blogging, I can see the two things that I've got organized there and Coffee Island here. So what if I go to um, shared? This is things that people have shared with me. So, or maybe I've shared with other people. So let's go and have a look. I've got lots of personal shared stuff in here as well, where it's been sent to my work account. Um, and I haven't got anything obvious that I want to tag there. But if I look for favorites, perhaps um, I want to create this. Uh, this, is, this is just about Let's pretend it's about Coffee Island. So we can tag that as well. So I can even tag my favorite files with that. Again, if I come to people, I can look at Lou and she's already, I can see that that's been tagged. So if I go back to people, let's look if Veronica sent, shared things with me. Well, she's got that one, but she's also sent me a list of courses at Tomorrow's VA. So let me create a new tag for that and we'll call it courses. And then anything that is to do with courses will have a nice orange tag. So down here, I can now look at those different kinds of course things 
And um, what I didn't show you was you can also browse by meetings. So if there are meetings, you can browse and you can tag those too. But it only works in this view in the My Content, which you'll get to via Microsoft 365 and going to My Content. So I hope you find that useful. I think it's a really cool option. And together with color coding your, color coding your folders, which was my last video, uh, you can now tag individual files and find them. So you've got two different ways of finding things. And of course, the benefit of tagging is those files don't necessarily need to be in a specific folder or even in your own OneDrive. They are things that other people have shared with you and you can keep track of them that way. So I hope you found that useful. See you in another video sometime soon.